everybody, it's Jess here and I'm here to talk to you all about expat living in Hong Kong. So because this video is about Chinese New Year, my lovely orchid flowers are nicely decorated with the Chinese New Year charms are back because I paid for it so I might as well use it for a video. So yesterday I was scrolling through my phone and I found out that Pizza Hut is doing a Chinese New Year pizza. And then I looked at the ingredient list and the ingredient list is pretty much like fish ma, sea cucumber, shuan wei ham, chicken, shiitake mushroom, imitation shark fin, and signature abalone sauce. So I'm like, okay, no problem, let's try it. But wait, the name of this pizza is called Da -da -da. Buddha jumps over the wall. I'm thinking, okay, why is this pizza called Buddha jumps over the wall? So I had to investigate, of course. Buddha jumps over the wall is actually a popular soup that is eaten during Chinese New Year. It's supposed to be a very nutritious soup with the base of the soup being with shark fin and abalone. And since nowadays of regulations, shark fin and abalone are endangered species, so a lot of these ingredients are replaced by imitated ones. Also, I don't expect to have real shark fin or abalone on my Pizza Hut pizza. I would not be eating shark fin or abalone. Anyways, the story goes and there are a few variations. One day there was a monk and he was just walking by and then he passed by someone making a very very fragrant soup. And so he just couldn't resist it because it was so fragrant. He jumped over the wall to have some soup. And the problem is because monks actually don't eat meat. So when people were questioning him about why he had the soup, he said that the soup was so good, even a Buddha would jump over a wall to eat it. This Buddha jumps over the wall pizza features the same ingredients as the soup, except I think it's on a pizza crust and it has some mozzarella cheese on it. So I don't know how the flavors will go together, but let's find out. I'm just too lazy to go to Pizza Hut. It's actually literally like five minutes walk over there. But I'm just gonna order on Food Panda and have it delivered. <gasps> it's here! Let me get it. <gasps> I'm so excited! Actually, I'm not that excited for the taste, but I'm excited to see what it looks like and like how weird it's gonna taste. Mm. Okay, okay. This is the first time that I'm gonna see it, the first time that you're gonna see it. So, ready? Okay, ready? Huh. Okay, I, I don't, I actually couldn't see it. So I'll actually look at it right now. Okay, okay, this is very exciting. It actually looks like a pizza. Yeah, it doesn't look like a soup at all. It looks like a pizza with um, like a lot of mushrooms on it. So I am very ghetto because I eat pizza with um, a fork and a plate. This is a very large pizza and I don't know how I'm going to finish this. Maybe I'll, I'll call up a friend, but I don't think I have any friends who would want to eat this pizza. Let's grab a slice with um, a lot of stuff on it. So I think this one, this one's pretty good. So here is my pizza slice and this is going to be my first taste test. I actually found out about this pizza on the South China Morning Post and they're talking about the review of the pizza. So they said that this pizza does not have tomato paste. Instead of the tomato paste, they have the abalone sauce. And they say that the shiitake mushroom actually doesn't have much of a taste so it doesn't overpower the other tastes in the pizza. So I don't know which ingredient is going to be taste of the pizza. So, okay. <laughs> I'm not that excited to try this. Okay, I'm excited and I'm not excited at the same time. I, you know, I don't want this to ruin my like perception of pizza. So, okay, here we go. Okay, okay. I think I just ate a piece of bread with a lot of abalone sauce on it and one piece of shiitake mushroom. I don't know what to think of this. <laughs> it is so weird. The consistency is actually, the crust is a little bit too soggy. All this topping, it doesn't really sit flat because it's not really flat like, you know, like a pepperoni. So let's put all the ingredients onto one piece of bread and see what it tastes like as a concoction. Ingredient one, 
shiitake mushroom. Yeah, I, I don't know how this is gonna taste because I've never ever had shiitake mushroom with cheese before. Ingredient two, chicken. Your typical white chicken breast, I guess. Ingredient three, this is like the shark fin here. Probably just like vermicelli, so it's probably no taste to it. Ingredient four is the sea cucumber. It's like this jelly like thing. I haven't had this in such a long time, so I don't remember what it tastes like. It literally tastes like a piece of jelly. It doesn't even have any like seafood taste to it. Ingredient five, ham. I think this is Shanwei ham. Ingredient six, abalone sauce already on. Ingredient seven, mozzarella cheese already there. I think that's all the ingredients. Oh, I know what I'm missing. The fish maw. Oh my god, here's the fish maw. Fish maw is fish stomach. My mom was always telling me I should eat it because it's very high in collagen. Oh, this is what I need for like beautiful skin. So mom, here you go. I'm eating this for beautiful skin. It tastes like my mom's soup. Okay, I think I need some extra utensils. So the thing is like all the ingredients don't stick that well, so it's not very good. I'm definitely not hungry anymore, but I had the Buddha jumps over the wall soup and I'm not a fan of it. So it's not a surprise that I'm not really a fan of this pizza. So final thoughts. I think this pizza is quite unique. It's actually designed by a Hong Kong chef. He made about 30 pizzas before he actually decided on this recipe. I think the most prominent taste for this pizza is the abalone sauce. You can definitely taste it on that first note that you bite and then on the second note you'll probably taste the ham which is very salty and then you would taste the mozzarella cheese and then the rest of the ingredients literally have no taste at all like the sea cucumber the imitation shark fin which is just vermicelli so there's like literally no taste i wouldn't buy it again but as like a novelty Yes, I would try it and maybe with some more people who are daring enough to try this because now I have pizza for like the next four or five days. So that's it for my video on the Pizza Hut Booter Jumps Over the Wall Pizza. If you do like my video, please give my video a thumbs up or click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on expat living in Hong Kong. Bye guys!